Uh, leading us off, the much anticipated new trailer for the even much more anticipated movie. This is You Can't Wait, Can You? I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Fifty Shades of Grey is what we're talking about here. I think. Right, well, it premiered last night during a commercial break for ABC Scandal, the most appropriate venue, and this trailer is definitely a lot steamier than the first, with Beyonce playing in the background actors Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson give us a glimpse into their character's romance, including Christian Grey's notorious Red Room. Take a look. My tastes are very singular. You wouldn't understand. Enlighten me then. Why are you trying to change me? I'm not. It's you that's changing me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the uh, the movie, the full length adaptation of E.L. James' best selling novel, well, that comes out on Valentine's Day. Smoking. You're actually blushing, you well, know. Well, I, I had to ask a lot of questions during the trailer. I didn't read the books, so Red Room. You turned red. And when we talked about the Red Room. The Red Room. No, okay. we'll see. I'm sure my wife might take me to that movie. <laughs> Well, last night, the biggest, brightest, and British stars in the world finally came face to face. Will and Kate got to meet the UK's hottest musical export, One Direction. Yeah, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived at the London Palladium looking, you know, looking like they always look good. Uh, <laughs> Kate just 16 weeks pregnant now. As again, she is, the woman is styling. Mm -hmm. uh, they made their way to the, um, into the royal variety performances. The royal couple shook hands with the boys of One Direction. Now Harry, not the prince, but the 1D singer, Harry Styles, said to Kate congratulations on the bump, but later told reporters she didn't look bumpy. Did he really use that word bumpy? Is I that know, what we say? I know. It's kind of hard. You're probably nervous. She's beautiful. She's stunning. What do you say? You know she's okay. pregnant. Is she showing? Is she not? It's hard. <laughs> All right. Well, Mike Myers, the actor, uh, has a video that's going viral, and it's not a long lost Austin Power scene. It's a commercial for, of all things, Sears Canada. Well, in it, Myers appears with his brother Peter, who has worked for Sears for over 30 years. The retailer has been struggling and is hoping that the ad will boost, will give him a boost for the holiday season. The Myers brothers have some funny self-aware banter that allows them and Sears to poke fun at themselves. Take a look. Are you going to do the tagline? To this commercial that's only being shown in Canada? Sure. Come see the softest side of Sears. <laughs> we don't use that song anymore. Oh, no. Oh, ooh. Then how about Sears Canada? My brother works there. I love it. <laughs> okay. He they, nailed it. He nailed it. Of course he does. This is I had this is my first time seeing it. We were talking about this a little earlier. Yeah. They already got a million views in the past week on YouTube. Uh, there is a third Myers brother, Paul. He's a musician and writer. Um, maybe we'll see him next. But the uh, the brother actually is the older brother here kind of is the star of this ad in a lot of totally. ways. Totally. Yeah. I love it. And I love the fact that he really worked for Sears. For 32 years. That's great. Well, how about another famous family, the Osbournes? There's news that Ozzy, Sharon, Jack, and Kelly will be getting back together to their family roots with a reality show. Yeah, nearly 10 years after their first show on MTV ended its run, VH1 is reportedly nearing a deal for a new batch of episodes. The original was part of the first wave of reality TV shows and earned an Emmy in 20, or 2002 for Outstanding Reality Program. Mom Sharon has revealed that the show will be back for six or eight episodes. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, the best part of that show, you couldn't understand a word out of all these mouths. I love that, though. Translate the whole time. Loved it. Uh, well, it's birthday time for some celebrities out there. Let's take a look. Prince Charles turned 66. And former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, who is now on that football committee, college football committee. She's turning 60 years old today. Hip hop icon Joseph Revron Simmons of Run DMC turns 50. And Josh Demel, actor, turning 42 today. Happy birthday, folks.